Hello, David McMillan here, former smuggler and freelance scoundrel. I received a, a little viral message on WhatsApp. Yeah, some this is a message to all you fucking Charlie here. dealers. He was complaining about the quality Stop selling. of grams of coke that he was getting. Oh, it was so rubbish it was just blocking his nose. Now, nothing unusual there, but I received it about four times. That means four quite different groups were forwarding the message to me. So it really must have struck a chord around town. Why was that? Why was this little uh, message of woe about the quality of cocaine being driven around town and passed on? Because it's shit. <laughs> uh, my local man, ugh, deplorable. Uh, he's, if he had any sense of embarrassment, he would be. Absolute rubbish. But here's the thing. It's rubbish everywhere. Yeah, even the Albanians are having trouble. Okay, we understand it's uh, the COVID area. Air transport's really a wreck. Unreliable, changeable, and uh, subject to many great changes. So, smuggling by air is not so easy. But we know that uh, most of it comes in by ship cargo anyway. So what's amiss? Well, lots of things. It's not the cargo ships that uh, are interfering with the cocaine trade and smuggling in general. It's the communications within, because a lot of that has to be face-to-face. -face. It's the movement of the money, which, though it goes by wire sometimes, it can be by cash. And here's the point. A lot of the negotiations and the arrangements have to be done in person, and the persons can't travel so easily, or they get stuck and quarantined or dodging a quarantine. No, they've just... A lot of them have put it aside for the moment. That's why the quality of pub grub, as they sometimes call it here, uh, low in grams, which is... Uh, what is it? What is a gram? Is it... It's not even a gram. They just call them packets for about 40 pounds of uh, 0 0.4 gram. They're uh, absolute rubbish. But that's because the the key workers, the unsung heroes out there, they've all taken a bit of a break. And they can afford to. But where has that left the poor old man in the street? Filming himself in a car and sending it out as a little plea to the nation. Well, sad enough story, perhaps. But what are we going to do about it? Something or nothing. <laughs> it gave me the idea. Hmm. What if somebody who was retired decided to hell with it? I'll just run over and grab a kilo from uh, an old friend. We'll call him Pablo in Medellin and whistle it back here and spread the joy, share the love. Ah, uh, possible? Mm, perhaps suicidal in my case. Besides, it's against the law, I heard. Shouldn't be done. But then again, not everybody out there, and I'm looking directly at you, might feel that way. What are you saying? You haven't got the money to do a run? Go fund me, that's what it's there for. How would that go down? I know I just put out a thing about shooting the messenger. Do you think go fund me would tolerate a... Let's raise a few thousand pounds so that the first-time independent drug runner can go and do his stuff, or at least try to. No, I don't think they'd want to see that in those terms. So here's my question to you today. Have you got it in you? Do you want to have it in you? If you were even just thinking about it as an exercise, would you know what to do to suddenly become an independent smuggler? Yeah, no, it could be anything. It could be sand from Arabia, but the market's a bit drowned out. <laughs> Almost as bad as oil. It could be lots of things. But let's just say it's coming from Colombia. I thought it might be amusing, uh, as an exercise, of course. Let's put myself in your shoes. Now, how would you go about it? First of all, you have to travel 
do you have the documents? Do you want to travel under your own name? And if you don't, why is that exactly? What's wrong with your own name? If you can't protect your own name, I don't think you'll do much better under a phony one. And then you'll always be sweating over wondering whether those phony ones will hold up. No, I, I don't see really the point. Of course, unless you're going to use more than one passport. Now that's the thing. Let's lay out what we'll need for this, uh, well, armchair smuggling operation. Firstly, do you have the money? Well, let's cap it at a kilo. What's a kilo worth? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, shall we say if uh, you sold it wholesale, 35,000 uh, pounds? At the moment, perhaps 37,000 pounds, given the, the mood. But is that how you'd want to sell it? Perhaps not. But we'll come to that. But you should know it'd be possible to get back perhaps a hundred thousand on your one kilo. Ah, what's that? Uh, four blocks of butter by size and weight. Wow, hundred grand. That'd come in handy. It'd sort out a couple of problems. Mind you, it is all in cash, so it's a little wrinkle in that. But what other means do you need? What are you objecting? I can see out there. You don't have the contacts. Well, we'll deal with that. Let's just get you moving into the air. Now, as I do this little series, I'm not going to go on too long at any one time. Any problems you have in this hypothetical, unreal world, perhaps you'll let me know in the comments section below, and we can deal with those as they go on. But can you get away for a few weeks? And is it possible to go to South America? Yes, it is. Though, huh, will you get trapped there on some quarantine thing? Not exactly. We'll take a closer look. But at the moment, we're heading for... Yes, we're heading for the Caribbean. But not exactly everywhere is good. A few essentials before you leave. You really want a bit of a cover story for where you are. OK, if things go south, then everybody will damn well know where you've been, but that's not the point. I don't think it's a good idea to tell your friends and family and those closest to you, well, oh, I'm off to do a bit of smuggling. Uh, I might be some time, as Captain Oates said in Scott of the Antarctic. Now, tell them you're going somewhere else. And where do people go? Hmm. They go to Scotland, because no one ever asked you what you did in Scotland. It's just... Well, they don't want to know because it's probably dismal. It's not actually as dismal as all that. I kind of like the place, but it's beside the point. People just don't ask too much when you said you spent two weeks in Scotland. And anything they do ask is easy to dismiss. So that's where you were. Can you get time off work? Mm, of course. You've got a cough. <laughs> Take a couple of weeks. Plan ahead here a bit. Now, we know the bookings might not hold, but uh, they hold enough. And the first thing you need to do is raise a bit of money. How much do you need? Well, frankly, about £10,000. About, um, shall we say, dollars $13,000, depending on where you're leaving from. If you're doing this from the US back to the US, that's one thing. Ah, but um, we won't really do it that way. Even if you're America-based, I'm going to suggest that in the theory of this, one wouldn't go back home and start punting around $150 grams of Ace Puro. No, no, no. that would be welcomed. It would be sold. But there'd be a lot of talk. It'd be your one and only trip. What's that? You're telling me it would be a one and only trip. That hundred thousand shekels you make will be the last you'll ever need, just to take care of a few things that have come up, David. I, I mean, I wouldn't even be this far into the video, actually. I mean, this don't really approve of this kind of thing. But I do have this problem at the moment. It's not really my fault. It's down to government mishandling of a pandemic. Yes, 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 I'm listening to all of that, but not at all. I'm cutting to the chase here. I'm looking up and down and asking myself, will you be able to get through customs? Well, frankly, a few things about you alarm me. We'll get around those easily enough. Yep. 
It's like an old car. You a bit of paint, a bit of oil in the sump, and you're in business. <laughs> okay, that's enough for today. I'll be back with another one of these, which will be making our preparations for how to transport the damn little critter. Ah, uh, yes, it doesn't wriggle much, but it sure makes its presence known to the, what is it, the Photon 55, or the latest machine that's in place at the airports. What to do about that? See you soon with part two of GoFundMe South America. <laughs> Good night.